After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been on the department roughly 10 years. Been assigned to Central Booking Bureau as a sergeant. I've been on the CERT team for roughly a year. CERT team is in charge of handling any special operations in the jail. We deal with riot situations, any type of high-risk transports. We go handle any situation we're given. We got a code five male coming in, see what the problem is and see if we can walk him in. Try not to use a chair if we don't have to. How you doing? How am I doing? Yep. Uh, I could be better. I, I'm, yeah, I could be better. You're only here for a bench warrant. My guys pull you out of the car. You're going to cooperate just, with them? What am I going to do? Try to get myself out of here? Or I'm just asking. Like I got, that's crazy. why I'm talking yeah. to you and clearing it with you. That would be insane. That was so uncalled for. Like. All right, we'll talk about it inside, all right? We'll walk in. Sit down, close your mouth, put your face on the ground, rub it on the pavement, shred your face in the ground, pound it. Relax. You weren't there. Exactly. Where you, uh, no. you weren't. I wish I had a lawyer. Like, Walk straight down there and talk to the nurse. You guys be cooked. Uh, cooked. Down there and talk to the nurse. Done. You'd be so done. You guys. All the way down. We'll Are you cut, bleeding, injuries, open wounds? Probably. I probably have head trauma. We're being slammed to the ground. I need intensive care. You have any alcohol tonight? Lots of it. You're okay. taking a four. I think four is open, so. Okay, come on back here, sir. What am I going to do? You're going to go into a cell over here? Something I need. A speeding ticket. I'm just going to let you go in here and sober up a little bit. Speeding ticket. Yeah. Help it. We're going to take the chain Just listen to what my guys are telling you. Jesus. Freaking violating me, dude. I hate punks. Look at the wall. If I got to tell you again, you're going to the floor. You don't get to tell me what I get to look at, all right? OK. We do. Please don't express your authority too much for yourself. OK, mister. So you're going to listen to everything they're telling you to do. If you decide, put them back in cuffs. Put them in cuffs. Get on the ground now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Get onto your knees and cross your feet. So Go to the ground. Oh, there you go. I'm so good. Go ahead and go. All right. Can you slam your own head into the wall? Top. You're gonna be so tough. We didn't hurt you, sir. You tried to hurt yourself. I'm not hurting myself. I'm recollecting something in my own mind. By slamming your head into the wall? Yes. That means slamming, dude. Control 1094, one to two female right. side from booking. Put them right in the corner. Well, they got no rooms, is that what they said? We're gonna go ahead and uh, place you in the restraint chair since you wanted to bang your head off of the wall because uh, we can't have you doing that. Whatever so makes you feel. Um, <laughs> Really. We took him to a side cell. Cool. As soon as we took the handcuffs off him, he decided to have, smack his head against the wall, so we placed him on the ground, put him in cuffs. Uh, brought him back out here and put him in the chair. So chokes me out. He's going to sit over here for a pull-down period. Are you and, um, listening we'll to this? They choke me out to where I can't breathe. Slam me on the ground. It's so important to you to manhandle somebody, isn't it? What doesn't have to do with that, Mr. Just trying to get you out. Just trying to get Shut you to up. calm down so we can get you to the process so we can get you today. Shut up! To get me through then there. Well, according to you, to according to you, according to your mental state, your ego, Jail is I'm not, that not tough. cooperating It's pretty much just a waiting game. Ah. Sit down and wait for your name to be You're called. You're sick. I don't have to be quiet to be out right. But acting like that, how's it working out for you right now? Not very good. Exactly. As soon as you calm down, sir, I'll come back and talk. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I paid the goddamn fine. It's a speeding ticket. You got to cooperate with yourself. And then what? I mean, I get stuck in the carriage? What's better than the chair, right? Look at him go. All right, go ahead and stand up. Oh. 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 Oh.
He's semi-cooperative. Took his ring. He's in a ISO now. I swear to God, you're going to get a burden now. I can't fill my hand. Uh-huh. They still can't fill my hand. Okay, just, just need to relax. Uh, the chair is not a comfortable place to be, but you're out now. I thought maybe that me and you could probably reason with each other, but... We can. I have a speeding ticket. Okay. You have a bench warrant for a speeding ticket. You have a bench warrant for a speeding ticket. What does that mean? It means you failed to comply with some court order related to a speeding again. ticket that you got. I paid. Well, obviously, money. there was more to it. I don't know what the details are. You're a lot calmer now, which is good to see. That is poor <laughs> You are full of <laughs> Oh, my. But of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, you are the only one that had to be put in a restraint chair. We cannot release you when you're that worked up. So hopefully you're on the road to calming down, I mellowing out. I'm saying that you will ever be looking at your own self in the mirror every day. Every day. Uh, it's like I told him, out of the 125 people that we have brought into custody tonight, he was the only one that had to be placed in the chair. So clearly, he was uh, not behaving appropriately. I've been working for the Sheriff's Department here for 10 years. Prior to that, I was in the Marine Corps and the Navy Seabees. I really joined because I thought that I could make a difference here with the Sheriff's Department. Hopefully, I can convince somebody not to come back to jail. Okay. Hey, he's trying to molest my ass. He grabbed my balls like four yeah. times. What do you got for us tonight? Give him false name, forgery, littering. He was standing outside of a convenience store. You're a liar. And a uh, warrant out of Manatee County. Hey, what about the dead hunter in my Cadillac back at the harbor? What are you going to do about that? One thing at a time. You're not worried about that, are you? Stand on up. Turn around. This the wall there. Three feet apart. I'm glad you didn't grab my balls like he did. No, nope. the hands down. There's no need for grabbing my balls like he did. You know, that's gay. Making a left. Patsy on the gray stool. Yeah, a list of charges. What happened out there? I don't know. This guy grabbed my balls. This is weird. And he grabbed your balls. You mean during the pat down when he was patting no, you down? No, more than that. Before he patted me. Well, before and after. He so, grabbed your balls before, and then he grabbed your balls after. After, yes. OK, well, but what about the charges? Because we got a list of charges here. We got forgery, giving false name, littering, and a warrant. That's all false. It's all false. What about the warrant? Is that false, too? Uh, the warrant might be somewhat true. What about the forgery? Did you sign somebody else's name to the ticket? No, I signed my name. What, what did you sign did you it sign? as? I signed my name. What is your name? Well, look up my name. I know what your name is. I don't know. I don't, you look it up. That's what I signed. Is that right? Yeah. Stand up. I got to do a second pad down. Oh, you, you want to grab me again? Uh, I don't want to grab you. Right, I want to make yeah, sure you don't yeah, got any weapons right, or anything like that. He hasn't searched it all yet, yes, so he can't yes, say it again. Well, okay. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the highlight of your you're day. All gay. I know you're all gay. Sarah said the county is the gayest county. I mean, you're here. Yeah, I know. But you're, you? you're cute. Yeah, yeah you're cute. Oh, oh she's a cutie? Yes. OK, so have, have a seat right there for me. That's like the third or fourth time. Well, then you're, you're having a good run of luck tonight. Oh, yeah, it must be nice. OK. Go ahead and stand up. Go with Deputy Johnson. <laughs> so why'd you pull him over? I saw this guy standing out in front of the gas station, like on his cell phone, acting all shady. So I, I sat and watched him for a little bit, and he's throwing stuff out of his pockets on the ground. So I see a car pull up, and I'm thinking, you know, there's going to be a drug transaction go on. So the car picks him up and leaves. So I stop him on the littering charge. And he gives us his name, doesn't come back to anything. I continue checking his real name. It shows he has a warrant under this name, Randolph, which is his real name. Arrest him on the warrant, charge him for forgery for signing the ticket under a different name. He cussed me out on the way down to jail, saying he's going to kill my family, everything like that. So he's one of those guys. Yeah, he did strike me as a member of Mensa. Actually, go ahead and turn left. Go to left, see? Go to left, back over this way. Back over there, have a seat on that school. 
come see me when I'm in here? Am I going to come see yes, you when yes, you're in here? Yes. No, I don't really think so. I'm going to see you when you're down here, but that's about it. Okay. And if, if you want to continue to make inappropriate comments, we can just put you in holding. What kind okay. of inappropriate? I think you know what I'm talking about. What she's saying in a polite term is, we're not playing love connection here, okay? Yeah, so not, you, I'm not, not right. stop, yeah, stop, right. stop, stop. Definitely not. Okay, right. you need to zip your lip potato chip on that one because we're done. You can go over there. Go Stand up, it. let's go. Bye. Pathetic. This hey. county's a joke. Hey. All right. Don't be swearing. I won't, sir. Just keep your mouth shut, and yes. you'll get through the process. Yes, sir. I'm serious. I know you, and you know me, right? I know. Yes, sir. So don't yes, swear. Yes, All right. Come over here. Step over here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put you in a holding cell until you can sober up, until you can be cooperative. I'm sober. Uh, I doubt that, sir. I can yeah. smell the odor of alcohol coming off of you. That's okay? not alcohol. We're done. That's your wife. Outstanding. Oh, my wife. Yeah. Awesome. That's that's your very wife. good. Thank Stay you. Down. Come on. I have put my hand. Yeah. Put, put him in six. Come yeah, on. I told you to cooperate, but you didn't. I wasn't cooperating. You just better leave up. Yeah. Come on. You're all up. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Builds character. Yeah. He's going to be placed in here until he could sober up and be cooperative. We got all the time in the world, sir. So just behave yourself, sit down, maybe take a nap. It'll help you out. That's not what your wife said. You can see her in the morning. She'll be on the B squad. I already saw her, and I'm tired of this bitch. Let's check and see how he's doing. Good to go. Hey, your charges are in. Thank you. There's your three charges. Yes. You gave him the wrong ID, passed the forged instrument, and you had a municipal ordinance for littering. All right, the other thing is you were rude to the female deputy by saying what you said to her. Oh, okay. You remember I'm that? Kidding with that. Well, okay. we're in a pretty serious place, right. so you got to watch what you say. Right. And this deputy here, you might owe him an apology. I think you do. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's it, not sorry, it's Deputy Sampi. Sorry, Deputy. We've met each other before. So when I'm trying to fingerprint you so you can get out of jail, I really don't appreciate or expect comments like you said to me. Yes, yes. So we'll work on that, all right? We'll be back. Right. You can rest. All right, sorry. All right, thank you. We could probably get him out here shortly. I, I think the alcohol got the best of him in this case. Just yeah. one of those guys that requires a little extra loving. Whenever we pat somebody down, whenever we're moving around somebody, we want to be in a position of advantage so that whatever happens, whether they're compliant or they're non-compliant, uh, we're ready pretty much for anything. Sometimes people come in the door and they're very combative. Some people will comply and then all of a sudden we'll be combative. So you just try to always try to be in a position of advantage. Anything on you're going to stick me, poke me, or make me bleed? No, sir, man. Excellent. I just got out of jail the other night. Really? Yeah, for what? menacing, like, I'm behaving myself. I didn't touch these stupid kids. And then, like, five of their friends show up when they weren't even there and said I did it. I'm the one with the bloody whip. None of them have a mark on them. Not one of those kids had a mark. And for some reason, I have assault. Have you been drinking today? Yeah, a little bit, but not recently. It's just this, like, I woke up at 6 this morning and had a pint. I haven't been drinking since then. Those are all harmonicas. I'm a very good harpist. Harpist? Harmonicus. Harmonicus. We call those blues harps. I love those things. They make the most beautiful music. I've just never heard it called a harp before. It's being charged with assault, and I never assaulted anybody, so this is great. Okay. I'm prepared to be sued when I get out. When I take the handcuffs off, your hands need to be on the counter. Yes, sir, I understand. Excellent. All right. Man. This officer already said he would write down that there was no abrasions or marks on these kids' faces and that I was the only one with a bloody anything. My lip was bloody, their faces were not. If I assaulted them, obviously, as you can tell from my knuckles, that if I hit somebody, they would be hurt. So here, help me, help me go through this. Can I find them for you real quick? Sure. Um, that's my dead brother's picture. I really need this. OK, well, let's keep that safe in your property. And it's Don't getting it sewed onto one of my pieces. OK. It's my dead brother. Yeah. I need that. I definitely need that. I, I need all these numbers. These okay. are all my friends in various states. OK. You're going to have a seat over here in the back two rows. Walk this way, guys. What brought him to jail today? 
was at uh, Pioneer Square with his other friend. They were bothering people walking by, uh, trying to bum a cigarette. There was a couple kids skateboarding. Uh, they kicked the skateboard out from one of them. And then when the kid uh, got upset, they grabbed him by the throat and pushed him up against the wall. Then another guy walking by saw it, tried to intervene, and he got punched in the back by uh, Jesse also. So you got two counts of harassment, strangulation, and disorderly conduct. Usually I'm arrested for things I do do, like drinking in public, smoking marijuana, or like beating people up. But like that's when I actually beat people up and they have evidence against me for that. Right. Like I remember chasing one dude around the corner. Because right. he told me he had a gun. He said he'd shoot me. I was like, really pull it and shoot me, dude, because I don't give a he don't know where I'm from. Philadelphia. I ain't worried about being shot. You gotta have a gun to shoot me before I get to you. That's my point of view on it. Just mad because I didn't even touch these people. Still gotta take it to court, but there's the chance that I have to stay in here all the way until I go to court, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a dog, I have a fiance out there. Got things to take care of, man. I don't even know. All right, Mr. Grab your stuff. All right, man, thank you. You're welcome. You have a beautiful night, you sir. Too. Thank you for doing your job. I understand that's all you're doing. More than likely, he'll get out of jail tonight, and they'll have a court date for Monday, so he'll come back to court on Monday, hopefully. But he's also a transient, which are also known to not show up to court, and then we'll put a warrant out for his arrest. I've worked here in the jail for 14 years. I see that really anybody can come to jail. We see people that are homeless and transient that we see a lot of. Then there's people that come in for the first time maybe for a DUI, for domestic violence. Most people, they come in and they're cooperative, especially people that have been here before, and they kind of know where to go, and that makes it a little bit easier, actually. Right, you gotta take your shirt off just real briefly, and then I'll give it back. And is that your husband? What, no, you know my guy? husband's outside he... walking with the baby waiting for me to get released okay, because so he's they not said here. it shouldn't be long. I've never been arrested before. Mess your hands right here. Do you know what you came in for today? Shoplifting. Oh, I okay. shoplifted diapers for my son. You know that there are uh, some social services out there, right? Yeah, we've tried the resources and we just didn't, nothing could help us right at this time because we've used them all up when we first got here for motels and diapers and everything else, so. So you were saying in New York it's a little harder to get social services, is that it's right? It's harder to get everything up there. There was fourteen fifty. I don't know if it's all there. Enough for diapers? Yeah. yeah. Step over this way and for now just have a seat right up in front, please. Okay. She said Thanks. she was taking diapers. Is that what she was actually taking? taking? Yeah, it, well, there was like diapers and some other grocery stuff, so. Okay. They don't feed you here, do they? Unfortunately, you missed that 6 o'clock. I ain't take my meds, I ain't eat. So what's the process after this? Well, because of the nature of your charges, I think it was like a theft three. It's like stealing bubble gum. Okay. They're gonna let you go unless somebody else wants you somewhere else. No, no, nobody else want me. My son, husband, but, walking around outside now, waiting on me. I don't want them outside. Fourteen month year old baby. I'm about to eat, cuss him out when I get home. Got my baby out there going off and waiting for me. Thank you, Bryson. Thank nice. you. Halfway home. Yeah, it's another four hours. So they said. able to get a hold of your husband at all? Yeah, yeah. No, I told him to oh, take good. the baby home because it's raining. It's too cold for him to stay out and wait for me. And who knows how long this is going to take. But you guys do have a place to stay. Yeah, right? yeah. We'll, we'll be all right, friend. I are going to stay with friends tonight. So. Okay, good. Well, yeah. it's good you got a chance to get a hold of them. Yeah, yeah. Let him know I told what's them, going yeah. on. I told him it'll be a little while. I just told him I didn't want him outside with the baby because it's too cold. And late. And late, but very late. Right. I mean, we've slept outside before, but I just don't want him out there now. It's too wet. Yeah. He gave me a list of places that help with diapers and awesome. stuff. So awesome. Some resources I'm really for happy. you. Yeah. Good. That's, yeah, that's good I'm really news. happy about it. So a bunch of them. So. Well, I hope we don't see you again. Yeah, oh, no, you won't. I'm not worried about that. No, I'm not a jail person. I don't, I hate it. I hate that I'm waiting here this long, so right. I'm just ready to get out of here and go home to my family. Good. Well, good luck in Portland. Yeah, thank Continue you. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Sure, thank take you. care. Free. Oh, I couldn't take it anymore. I'm going to go home and cuddle with my kid. You seem excited. I am, uh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm so ready to go, man. I'm not going to steal no more diapers. They gave me a whole list of resources. Yeah, and I was like, hey, if I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna steal something that's righteous for my kid, man. It wasn't like I'm stealing for drugs or nothing like that. I'm stealing diapers for my baby, awesome. man. 
diapers wipes and I had smoothies in the bag. That's the only thing that had me on was kids food, man. Kids gotta eat. Well, she came in tonight on F2 charge. She was really cooperative. She went through the process. They gave her a list of resources where she could go get some diapers and get some baby supplies, and hopefully she won't have to try to steal them and get in trouble anymore. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside, and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face, and it brings me to life. Oh, Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel, and my fingers grew tight. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my kids. I don't want to... The doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna.